Well, as you well know, it is a constant battle on the streets of New York City between cars and pedestrians, bicyclists, those pedal bikes. Simply crossing the street, even a one-way street, can be such a challenge, you almost don't which, know which way to look. But not doing so can really come at a great risk, as News 4's Roseanne Coletti reports. 82-year-old Joe Jutra narrowly missed being hit by a cyclist as he stepped off the curb. I'm more afraid of bikes than cars because they're their own law. They can go through red lights. They can go on sidewalks. 67-year-old Mary Grace Belfi is in ICU with a brain hemorrhage and broken bones. She wasn't so lucky. Her daughter says on Tuesday, the cyclist shown on this dash cam video hit her mother, looked over his shoulder, and kept on going. They don't pay attention to the traffic lights. Uh, they're very selfish, and it's just really scary. Today, we saw cyclists using the bike lanes here on First Avenue near 86th Street whiz past in both directions, making the going treacherous for anyone on foot or exiting a car on the parking island. It's moronic. Absolutely. It's one of the biggest nightmares going. NYPD figures show cyclists and pedestrians are increasingly on a collision course. Year to year, there are more bike pedestrian accidents on city streets, though injuries are down. Eastside Council Member Ben Callow says he's inaugurating a bicycle education campaign with the DOT next week. Educating cyclists to get them to slow down, not be in such a hurry, and make sure that they're not running red lights and that they are giving the right of way to pedestrians, even if they happen to be in the bike lane. Even this cyclist stopped at a red light says she finds it frustrating when others don't follow the rules. The bike rules apply. You have to stop. You avoid an accident. Now, um, Chuck and Pat, you might relate to this. We found that people on foot told us they had more of a gripe, listen to this, with those on delivery bikes than with the recreational riders. So that educational campaign next week may be an eye-opener for many. Indeed. Okay, thanks a lot, Rosette.